were you aware of Bulow Vetter or Miriam Horwitz or the city attorney's office being contacted in regard to the MPSU fraud investigation? Uh, in so much as I believe uh, Bulow Vetter was contacted by an individual who worked at MPSU and had raised a concern about, um, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it was a bullying or harassment concern or uh, a concern, of, I, I believe, against raised against Adria Madalini. Was that Teresa? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Adria? Adria. Uh -huh. Madalini. Thank you. Good. Uh, and was that person Teresa Falderon or someone else? It was Teresa Falderon. Okay. Are you aware of whether or not Dr. Posley met with uh, whistleblower B at any time regarding uh, their complaints? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Are you aware of any contact between members of the board and any of the whistleblowers uh, in the Dr. Keith or, or the holiday complaints? Uh. My recollection is that Dr. Keith had shared some information with that's right. with board members, I believe. Okay, and that's because she copied you on those emails, or some other way. She, that's possible. Uh, um, or I, I don't recall if she copied me when she, when they were delivered to the board. I don't know. I can't recall that. Okay, but Dr. Keith, there. It has almost a mania for copying people in your experience, right? Different form. I, 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 I don't know if that's a characterization that's a slight or not. None is intended. Well, you know her to be an active copier, correct? Maybe that's fair. Okay, and how about a very active copier? Check, check the form. Okay. What's the answer, sir? I, 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 she can probably be described as an active, very active copy. Okay. So you you wouldn't dispute that she that copying you on these kind of emails is the thing that she's likely to have done, correct? It is likely. I don't recall, but it is it is likely. Okay. Do you believe that you read all of the emails that Dr. Keith copied to you? I believe I read every single one. Okay. And that's the, including the ones that you copied to your personal Roadrunner account as well as the MPS emails? Those two. Okay. And to be clear, you've got a personal email account, uh, Roadrunner. Correct. Is that right? Do you also have a Gmail account? Uh, I do have it, but that's never been shared. Uh, what did that mean with never been shared? Um, so to the extent that when an individual comes forward uh, with a concern and they're uncomfortable sharing information electronically, over the district email system in order to try to create a safe space for the individual. Uh, I had offered up uh, the Roadrunner account uh, to just take passive receipt of whatever they are willing to share. Okay, and that Roadrunner account, is that um, backed up in any way? Uh, I, I don't know what the Roadrunner server does with that account. Okay, is so it shared with MPS at any time? No, it is not. Okay. If I made a public record request of those emails, would MPS have any knowledge of them? I'm going to check the phone call speculation. <laughs> Likely not. No. Okay. And that would be because you haven't shared those documents with MPS, correct? That's correct. Okay. Is, is that one of the purposes of sending those documents to uh, outside of the MPS system? Um to instill a sense of safety for the individual who had concerns about sharing them on the MPS one. Okay, and what concerns, if any, are you aware, or why would a complainant be concerned about their emails being put on, about uh, complaints being put on the MPS system? Oh, for your retaliation. Oh. I'm gonna object to foundation calls of speculation. And you know fear of retaliation because they've told you or for some other reason? They've told me. Okay. And also, you have personal experience in uh, co people coming to your office and being uh, retaliated against, correct? Let me check the form. 
Certainly in the keys of rare. Okay, what other matters? Um, I didn't investigate, but it was shared with me by uh, Mr. Garcia Holman that he believed he was being retaliated against for having raised a concern with HR. Okay. And in your entire career since 2019, those are the only times that people have uh, directly said to you that they had a fear of retaliation? No, that, no, that, that has been shared by many other individuals. Okay. And are all of them complainants or in other capacities as well? Other capacities. Okay, did Tony Baez ever share that uh, concern with you? Um, Object to the form of the question. As to his fear of retaliation or uh, his fear of staff being retaliated? His fear of uh, staff being retaliated. His fear of staff being retaliated against. I believe he did share that with me. Okay. Um, were there any other directors that uh, conveyed to you a fear of staff, uh, MPS employees being retaliated against because of them filing complaints? I don't recall. Okay. Um, other than directors, what's the highest level MPS employee that has uh, confided in you about their concerns of retaliation? Okay. Either, excuse me, either on their own behalf or for somebody else's. Deputy superintendent. Deputy superintendent. Okay. Excuse me for cutting you off there. I think I cut you off. <laughs> So uh, ben below that, how about uh, what at what level is the highest? titles I, I believe at least at the director level okay which would be the level above dr. Keith or something else I believe that was above okay I <clears throat> share your uh, difficulty and understanding of the titles here I'm sure we can move forward on that basis right yes okay Sure, he's got cross. When a time you think it's a good time to stop, if you can take a look. The court reporter also probably needs a break. I'm sure. This court reporter, I'm just having a guess, is really good at speaking for herself. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, okay. So. <laughs> I think that look shows that she may be ready for a break. Great. Um, let me ask you this question. Before I was interrupted, I just had two more. Um, okay, so other than these two employees, have you ever witnessed, or sorry, other than Dr. Keith, have you ever witnessed firsthand uh, an MPS employee being retaliated against because they came to you? I'm going to check the form. I don't believe so. Okay. Well, it sounds like we're ready for a break. Oh. Somebody, we are going off the record. The time is 12 noon. This is the end of media unit.